Hey everyone, my name is Alex with Systems Refined, and today I want to answer the question, how do you handle unfinished tasks in a weekly sprint? But the question goes a little bit deeper than just how do you handle an unfinished task. So I'm going to explain what this user is actually trying to accomplish. I have a weekly sprint set up in my Asana with the columns backlog, sprint, in progress, done, and Q1 archive. On Mondays, the user and his team will pick out which tasks will need to be completed this week and move it into the sprint section. He'll then add the estimated time it'll take to accomplish the task and assign them to specific users. This gives you a great overview of how many man hours are going to be needed to finish all the tasks for the week. The team will then move their tasks from the sprint column to the in progress column when they begin working on the task. And after they have completed the task, they'll move it into the done column. On Monday of the next week, they will move all the done tasks into the Q1 archive, which stands for quarter one archive, or it could be whatever quarter they're currently in. And then they just start the process all over again. What's great about this section is you can see how many man hours have been used to complete all the tasks for each quarter. And using advanced search functions, you can actually create reports to see how many hours each employee has been contributing as well. But the deeper question is, what happens when you underestimate the time it took to complete a task? Moving the task back to backlog and adding the time won't show the true hours remaining to complete the task. It will show that you have a very large task the following week, when really you probably only need a few hours to complete it. If you adjust the remaining time it will take to complete the task, you won't get a real representation of how much uh, man hours or how many man hours it took to complete all the tasks in the quarterly review. You could just recreate the task and add the additional hours into the new task, but then you lose any comments, files, or other data from the previous task. So what can you do to solve this problem? Well, why not add a subtask to the original task, add the additional hours, and then add that subtask to the project as well. The main task can then be placed into quarter one archive, and the hours remaining on the subtask are reflected in the following week, which gives you a more accurate estimated time to complete all the tasks for that week. Also, comments and other relevant data is just an additional click away. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it valuable, and if you did, Go ahead and click on that like button and click on subscribe so you don't miss out on any other Asana Tips videos.